What is going on YouTube? And in this video, I'm going to be going over smart scale. Smart scale is a super powerful tool for all Amazon wholesale sellers. So if you're doing wholesale on Amazon or want to get into wholesale on Amazon, I please, please, please recommend that you go get smart scout today. I even have a coupon code down in the description that gives you 25% off your first three months of using smart scout. So let's dive into it. And in this video, I'm mainly going to be going over a specific part of smart scout that is really good. If you're doing brand direct wholesale, you want to find good brands. They can buy from the brand directly to sell on Amazon. This is what I have used to personally have many brand direct accounts and do multi seven figures a year in Amazon. So let's dive into it. All right. So here on my screen, you can see I'm on smart scout. When you first get smart scout, this is going to be the home page you're on. As you can see, it's pretty basic. You have access to all these different things. But in this video, I'm going to be going over brands. All right. So let's open up the brands tool. It's right here on the side as well. And when you first open it, the main thing you'll see here is that smart scale has brought up 441,000 brands on Amazon. All right. And the whole thing that you want to do with the brand direct search is you want to find brands that are good to sell brand direct. This means you want to find brands that you could call up the brand today and possibly open up a brand direct account with, right? For example, you're not going to be calling up Apple, HP, Samsung, Lego, DeWalt, Carhartt to get a brand direct account. You see here, you can see Apple has done 226 millions in sales on Amazon in the last 12 months. Apple does not want to open up a brand direct account with you. They want to open up accounts with stores like Target, Best Buy, who are doing millions in sales with Apple every single month. But there are brands that will open up an account with you. These are typically be smaller brands, brands that are doing less than a million a month in sales on Amazon. They're going to have less third party sellers. They're going to be more open to working with the third party seller, especially if you bring value to them. So let me show you how you can find this. So first things first, you see, we don't want Amazon to be a dominant seller. We want at least three FBA sellers. We want to get the average monthly revenue down. So what are we going to do here? We are going to go to the filter button and there's a lot of filters here. As you can see, some of the main filters we want to do is we want to do the dominant seller country. All right. Cause you know, on Amazon, there's a lot of Chinese sellers and we can avoid that all with smart scale. So as long as we just put in United States down here, the dominant seller on the listing will not be a Chinese seller, which is good for us. And then estimated monthly revenue. Like I said, the max monthly revenue I would preferably want for a brand direct wholesale account would be a million dollars in monthly revenue. So let's put in a million right here and then the minimum. So obviously we don't want a brand doing like $0 a month in sales or even $5,000 a month in sales. Cause say we go to a brand that's doing five to $10,000 a month in sales. That could be like a brand new private label seller. You know, someone like you or me who ventured off and started our own private label brand doing five to $10,000 a month on Amazon. And chances are they don't have any distributors cause they're brand new, but I don't want you to always think that's the case because there could be brands that are going super hard on their own Shopify store in retail and they just neglect Amazon altogether. And those brands, are doing terrible in sales on Amazon. And you could hit up those brands and be like, Hey, I want to help you grow on Amazon and form a good partnership with them. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go with a hundred thousand dollars in monthly sales minimum. All right. And another thing you can do, you can go category wise, say like, I just want to search brands in just the beauty category, just the automotive category, just the tools category. You can totally do that as well. So for the sake of this video, I don't know, let's pick automotive and tools. Cause typically these are like similar, they fall in the same range. You know, there's some brands like Milwaukee, for example, they have items in automotive, they have items in tools, they even have items in patio and lawn and garden and probably a few more categories to be honest. So, so far, what would we have? We've picked primary category. We've picked estimated monthly revenue. We picked. Dominant seller country, as you can see right here with the purple, that means we already picked these filters. Next, I like to pick average FBA sellers. So I'm going to put a minimum of three sellers. That means more than just the brands on the listing, right? Cause if it's just one seller on the listing, that means that one seller could either just be Amazon or the brand. But since we picked three, that means the average sellers, there's more than just Amazon and the brand on the listing. All right. So estimated three sellers, estimated monthly sales. We can definitely pick this as well. Monthly revenue, monthly sales is pretty much the same thing. So I'm not going to do that here. Amazon and stock rate, you could totally put this as zero. But like I said, I already put three average sellers. So that means we're probably not competing with Amazon that much. And yeah, besides that, let's just click apply and see what pops up. 
Remember, we had 441,000 brands before. Now, look at this. We only have 40 brands to choose from. This is great because chances are a few of these brands are good for us and we could go sell them on Amazon. So what do we want to do? We want to open up a few of them on Amazon. So let's do that. Just open up the first three. As you can see here, the first one, Tool Shack, AO Smith are our dominant sellers, Blue Penguin, which is the brand is the dominant seller, but they're only the dominant seller 34% of the time. So that means there's room for us as well. So let's look into this AO Smith. And here you see this extension right here that's loading in is Amazon DS Quick View. And essentially what this is, it shows how many sellers on each listing. So as you can see, there's four sellers on this listing, eight amp sellers on this listing. So that means it's definitely FBA friendly. Some only have one. Let's open up one of the ones and then we see here's one with five. So let's just look at these three and see what we're thinking about the Keepa charts here. And we see AO Smith, the brand is a dominant seller 64% of the time, but that means there's also 36% of the time it's a third party seller. So let's look here. AO Smith is dominating buy box, but other sellers are getting buy box share. If we go into data and buy box statistics, we will see that let's move out a seller amp over here. Just one in the last days, AO Smith 70% of the time, but we've also had these other sellers getting buy box and it's pretty evident here. Offer count does move. So that means we could definitely hop on this listing. But as you notice here, the price is really steady around 69.99. That's something good to note that AO Smith definitely has a map pricing policy, which means minimum advertised pricing. So essentially AO Smith tells all the third party sellers, Hey, we cannot price lower than $69. And if you do, you could get kicked off the brand. And here we see there's some sellers on this listing, like CC solution retails, only two ratings. And this guy doesn't have many ratings either. So chances are we could get a wholesale account. Chances are here, same deal. Yeah, it doesn't look, it looks relatively OA friendly. Like this one only has one seller. Sorry, not OA friendly. I meant wholesale friendly. So let's go look up AO Smith on Google and see what we can find here. AO Smith. All right. Let's type in AO Smith wholesale and see what pops up. Wholesaler. AO Smith. All right, let's see what happens. Wholesale partners. All right. So I see visit ePortal. Let's see what visit ePortal does. All right. So they definitely have a wholesale website. So we definitely have to contact the brand wholesale channel partners sign up. Uh, the website's down, but if they did, we could apply there. If not, what I would totally do is call up AO Smith and be like, Hey, that I'm a, I wouldn't say you're an Amazon seller. Of course I'd be like, Hey, my name is Michael with AO distribution. We are interested in partnering up with you to bring your sales to Amazon or we're an e-commerce partner or a wholesaler. Of course, this video isn't technically going over cold calling. I'll release another video going over cold calling specific, some good scripts and stuff when you're cold calling a brand or cold emailing them, but this would be a great brand to contact. All right. So let's go into another one here. Here we see is the Power Pro brand. There's a lot of FBA sellers on here. I see eight FBA sellers. I see five FBA sellers, four, three, seven. So this is definitely probably a decent brand for us to sell. And they definitely have a map pricing again, as we see right here, we see the pricing is relatively steady around $130 with a several people. Some have a lot of reviews. This guy has 40 reviews. So it's definitely probably possible for us to get a wholesale account with them. So let's check this listing out as well. All right. The pricing is a little more, not as steady, but I definitely think there's options here for us to get an account. So what we'll do, we'll just look up power probe, type them into Google and see what pops up. Let's type in power probe wholesale to see if they have a wholesale page. I do not see a wholesale page popping up, but we can definitely go on their website and see what's going on. And of course, if their website doesn't have anything for us, we can always just call the brand or email the brand and see your reseller and map pricing. Power Pro map. It says authorized reseller policy. So they definitely do have third party resellers. 
we just have to contact the brand and see if we could possibly get an account with them. So that's the first two brands we've opened, right? With Smart Scout, and they both have been decent finds. So let's open up Blue Penguin. Let's open up, we can open up Eco Smart here. Let's look at two more brands, but it's all gonna be relatively the same process. As we see, they all have multiple FBA sellers, which is good for us. And then that's why I highly recommend getting DS Quick View, the free Chrome extension, because you can see before you open them, 10 plus sellers, six plus sellers. They are not bad at all. And then we just type in Blue Penguin here on Google and see what we can find. Blue Penguin Wholesale. And then we see mm -hmm, not much popped up. Let's see, what is this? Blue Penguin Outdoor Faucet, maybe? Make it more specific so it knows what we're talking about. So it doesn't think we're talking about the toy. All right. So I am seeing a bunch of other places that sell them. So I'm gonna assume we gotta find the manufacturer, but this is definitely a good brand to do some research in, find who we can contact, because as you can see, there's 30 plus sellers on a lot of these listings. And the sale rank's really good, like look, 62 sales rank. Customers usually keep this item, minimal returns. It's a good item for sure. We just gotta find the brand and contact them. And same with EcoSmart. Some other listings are sold by Amazon, but other ones like this guy right here have 11 sellers on it. So we just got to contact the brand and see how we can get this. And I'm assuming this is a frequently returned item because these are light bulbs and people probably package them terribly and they probably break in transit. But yeah, that is essentially smart scout brand research. All right. The key things you got to note here, you want to get this down typically under a hundred, make a list of the ones you want to contact, get their contact info on your list. And then spend a day calling up each brand, trying to open up brand direct account with them. Worst case, they say no, try to get their distributor at least so you know who to contact in the future, which may be worth your while, right? And then you can go through all 40 of these. And of course, come in here and play with your filters. Try to alter them a bit to try to get more brands, less brands. Alter your categories as well because we're just an automotive patio lawn and tools and home improvement. There's so many other categories to find good brands. All right, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video of going over Smart Scout brand direct sourcing. I hope it was super informative. And of course, if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer it. And if you have any video suggestions, drop the comment down below and I'll make a video regarding that. All right. And if you want one on one coaching from me directly, where I'll help you personally scale your Amazon business, you all have my phone number, group calls, so much stuff. Just click the link down below to apply. And if you make the cut, I'll be more than happy to work with you. If not, just keep posted on the YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.